What's good, everybody? Welcome back to L Does Boxing. Now, there has been a, a big fight that has been announced. Um, it's between Carissa Shears versus Christina Hammer. One of the best fights to be made in boxing. It's for the middleweight undisputed title. Carissa Shields has the WBC, IBF, and WBA. Christina Hammer has the WBO title. So they fight for um, this. I mean, oh my God, this is one of the best fights that can be made in boxing. It's been long overdue. It was supposed to have been made uh, last year, November. Christina Hammer had to pull out due to an illness. She had an intestine issue she had to deal with. Uh, and then in the meanwhile, Car uh, Carissa Shields stayed active. She stayed busy, and uh, she just got her um, profile to grow more and more. So I remember this fight first came up maybe 2016 at the WBC convention in Miami. Um, these ladies posed off. They, they did a face-off, and, and, and after that, it's been like the most anticipated fight in boxing uh, to me. Um, because undisputed in any division in boxing, male or female, trumps anything. That's just my opinion. So uh, it's been a collision course for these two ladies. Um, it's a little bit of bad blood. Uh, Christina Hammer been kind of inactive, you know, since everything is supposed to be in motion. Uh, I, th I believe she only fought twice in, uh, in like two years or 18 months. So she's been out of the ring. Um, Carissa Shields has been very active. She fought four times last year, and she uh she got all three belts. She got the WBC belt because um, Christina Hammer was sick, and she was named champion in recess. So I'm going to talk about Carissa Shields 2018. Um, she was named Fighter of the Year um, in 2018 by the Boxing Writers Association. She had she went 4-0. Um, she went 40, she fought 40 rounds, and According to the judges' scorecards, she only lost two rounds in 40 rounds. So she only lost two rounds. Now put that in perspective. Um, the two rounds she lost was in the um, Hannah Gabriel's fight where she was dropped in the first round. Of course, that's a 10-8 round. And then they gave, um, they gave Gabriel's another round. But that was a good fight. That was a fight of the year fight. Both ladies proved their championship medal, and then they both fought well. Um, so, and I believe that was the fight that basically put Carissa Shields on the map that she's a real true champion because whenever you can get up off the canvas and get up and fight harder and be the aggressor and, uh, you know, take, take control of the fight, that just shows something. Um, so she fought, uh, Tori Nelson in January and then in June she fought, her second fight was against Hannah Gabriel, so she won a unanimous decision. And then she fought again on, it was November, I believe, November 17th. That was the original date for her and Christina Hammer. Um, she fought Hannah Rankin. Hannah Rankin was the WBC silver champion at middleweight at the time. Uh, she beat her, didn't lose a round. Then three weeks later, she fought on HBO against um, super middleweight champion Femke Hermans. And uh, she defended her titles. And uh, another lopsided decision. So, like I said before, Carissa Shields has been dominant. She's 8-0 and with two knockouts. Um, five of her opponents has been former or current world champions when she fought them. Or, you know, what they they done in their career. So, they've been world champions. So, five out of eight has been world champions before. That's That is a, I mean, no matter what. Sport, male or female, I mean that's awesome. So she's been fighting good competition. It just a lot of people don't don't check into that. So, I mean it's just, it's a great thing. Uh, she's marking herself well outside the ring. Um, good talker. She can sell a fight. Um, she's doing a lot of different things. Uh, charity work, speaking engagements. Um, she about to do commentating uh, tonight actually, February the fifteenth, on the uh, UFC Fight Pass card. So. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of things uh, looking up for this young lady. Uh, she's 23 years old. She's about to turn 20. She'll be 24 by the time of the fight. Uh, so looking forward to this fight. It's a, it's a big fight in, in the sport of boxing. Now the Christina Hammer. Christina Hammer is a veteran, long 
standing champion. She's been champion for over nine years. Um, she won her first title in her eighth pro pro fight. Um, she's a two division world champion, twenty four and zero with eleven KOs. She fought some good competition. Um, most of her fights is in Germany, where she fought out of. Um, she's a big star in Germany, big star. She's a model. She can fight. She, you know, what I'm saying she just she's a good fighter. Um, more of a European style, you know, upright, good jab, good straight right hand. Has a sneaky uppercut. I mean, she can fight. Now she ain't no punk, and she liked to fight. Um, she fought some great competition. Like I said before, she beat Kelly Kelly Reese twice. Um, she beat uh, Mikhail Loran. She beat Maria Lindbergh. Uh, she fought. Last year, she fought former world champion Tori Nelson. Uh, won every round. Um, it was a good performance by her. Uh, so, like I said, she was coming off an of illness in uh, September. Uh, so, she made her um, debut back in the ring last weekend. Matter of fact, in Germany, she fought a journeyman fighter. She stopped her in two rounds. So, um, you know, she's... She, so she's ready. She making the fight. She proved that she, uh, you know, she healed from her illness and everything is a go. So this is one of the, the best style matchups you can make in boxer, because um, Hammer is the boxer, like, and she and she has good footwork. Um, she has a good jab, like I mentioned before, and you have Carissa Shields, the more aggressive fighter, faster fighter, throw a lot of combinations. So it makes for a good fight. Uh, Christina Hammer is accomplished. Like I said before, she has 15 title defenses, two weight division champion, and she unified with uh, with Kaylee Reese back in 2015. Now, the one fight that she had uh, some adversity was against former champion Ann Sophie Mattis. Uh, Ann Sophie Mattis, uh, I remember her from knocking out. Uh, Holly Holm, when Holly Holm was a champion, she came in her backyard and stopped her. It was a brutal knockout. Uh, Mattis can fight. Um, in that fight with Christina Hammer, she got um, she dropped Christina Hammer, and the referee said she got it was a um, illegal blow behind the head, so she got a disqualification. So that was a title defense for Christina Hammer. But if you look at the tape, uh, you can tell that. You know, you see some flaws in Christina Hammer's game that she don't like pressure, and you know, it's a de- it's a debate whether it was behind the head or not. So some people say it could have been ruled a knockout. Some people say it was a uh, illegal blow. It's up to your interpretation. But uh, as far as the fight with uh, Carissa Shields, I mean, man, it's a close fight to me. As far as like you know, pick them. I think it's 55-45 for Carissa Shields. I believe she has the momentum, and she's been on, she been more active. Um, funny thing about this fight, when you look at their records on paper, you automatically think that uh, Christina Hammer has the more experience, but that's that's not the truth. If you think about it, you gotta you gotta add in Carissa Shields' amateur um, record. She's 77 and one. Or well, seventy-seven and eight, seventy-eight and one, or seventy-seven and one, one of those records. So, almost eighty fights in the amateurs, and she's eight and zero in the pros. So, and she fought some big competition. And then, far as styles, um, a lot of the women that she fought in the in the Olympics and amateur, they like six four, six three, six two, and they fight in similar style as a uh, as Christina Hammer. And you know the amateur system, the scoring rank, the scoring, in the um the amateurs is different. It's a lot of pity pad, a lot of jabs. You know what I'm saying? They don't give you credit for uh, body work and whatnot. So, and she was able to beat those ladies pretty easy. And they was grown women. And at the time, her first Olympics she was 17, and then she was 21 in her, her second Olympics. So, she's seen that style. Christina Hammer, she haven't really fought an athletic fighter. Uh, probably Kaylee Reese was a you know, the closest thing to that. But I think for this style, it's gonna be it's gonna be a really good style. There's some bad blood on the line. Um I don't see a knockout or anything like that. But I say a good technical fight. I see um Christina Christina Hammer she's gonna make uh, Carissa Shields uh, think in this fight. 
I think it's going to be a tactical fight. But I believe Car- Carissa can win this fight on her activity, her combinations, and her pressure. Christina Hammer can win this fight if she stays to her jab. Don't get, don't rush. Um, be patient with her shots and land a sneaky uppercut. Um, she has a real good sneaky right uppercut that she can land. So I'm looking forward to this fight. Hope you guys are too. Like, comment, or subscribe. And I'll be back with another one.